Hello guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Docker and Juice Shop, which is the OWASP Juice Shop. It's an open web application that you can test. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome application you can use to, you know, do different challenges and all that stuff. But like I always say, before we get into the video, please like, subscribe, share. And if you have any recommendations, like I had recommendations on my, you know, social media, I asked if you guys wanted to see this and I got a lot of yeses. So here we go. So before we get started, what is Docker, right? If you want to know, understand what Docker containers are, you can obviously just go to Google. But just to simplify it, Docker is an open platform, you know, used for developing, shipping, and running applications. So you can you can actually put a application or something in a container. You can containerize it. So you can see here, like containers are isolated by share OS or where you know, where the appropriate binds and libraries are. And you know, as you can see here. Uh, Docker is a set of is a set of plat, uh, platform as a service product used for OS level virtualization to deliver software and packages called containers. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to have to install that first in our Kali Linux, and then after we're going to install Juice Shop, so we can get this going. So the next question is, what is Juice Shop, right? So right here, you can do a quick Google search, but here we go. Uh, the OS Juice Shop is an open source project hosted by a nonprofit open web application security project, which is the OWASP, you know, OWASP top 10 and all that good stuff. And it's developed and maintained by volunteers. So pretty much open source and all that good stuff. So you can just go out to the interwebs and uh, go ahead and search that. And if you want to know more information about that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to put these links in, in the description. What we can do is just how to install Docker in Kali Linux. So it's very, very simple. I did it on a different machine, and that's when I posted it on my social media and you know, got the feedback that it would be good to make a video on how to do it. So here we go. So why, you know, why use Kali? You know, you can use all this stuff and the preparation. Let me make this a little bigger. So the preparation before starting, ensure your Kali Linux is fully up to date. Make sure you can do all your updates. That's technically not true, but you can make sure it's all up to date anyway. So now we have to add Docker PGP key, right? So what we can do is just copy this. Okay. Let's just, oh man, it's been all my mouse. Okay. So it's a lot of typing, so we can make it easy and open up a terminal. And let me make this bigger. And let me just log in as root. Okay. And let me just, all right, cool. So now we can just go ahead and paste that right in the terminal. Okay, hit enter, we should be good. Okay, so now we can do the next one, configuring Docker APT um, repositories. So this is Kali is based on Debian testing. So this is what we're gonna be using. So we can just take this, copy this, paste it, very, very simple. Hit enter. Okay, good. No errors. And then, for example, if you want to have Raspberry Pi, you go down and down. So, this is the preparation for Kali. Okay, so that was it. It's pretty, pretty simple. And like this guy, I'm likewise, I'm no Docker expert by any means as well. So, so now we can do is go to uh, hub.docker. So, Someone actually put this in here. So it's the OWASP uh, juice shop. And you have a whole bunch of information about it. And you know how we can set it up. And let me make this a little bigger. So you can actually just go on, you know, go online. You can just hack away at it. Like if you just, for an example, if you go to scoreboard, you can actually just hack away on, you know, online. But I don't know. I like to do it locally, and that's what we're going to do here. This is, you know, the point. And obviously, some actually attacks don't work for the the internet interwebs version. So, you know, just feel free to just 
follow along. It's a very simple process. Like this is the quickest way to get to running uh, an instance of Juice Shop, you know, blah, blah, blah. And as long as you don't perform any DDoS attacks, you are free to use any tool or scripts to hack your Juice Shop instance. Okay, so no sweat here. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, install Docker container. So since we have a Docker container installed now, we can go ahead, obviously we did step one, we installed Docker. And step two, we're gonna do a Docker pull. So let's go ahead and just copy this. Mouse is not cooperating today. All right, so let's copy that. Let's go back here and paste. Let's hit enter. Uh, Docker not found, can be installed with, that's weird. Let me see, did I miss a step here? APT, all right, so let's just go ahead and just do a quick update. Sorry guys, let me just update this really quick. This is why I like to do these uh, live and let that do its thing for a bit, depending on your internet connection, this can take a few seconds. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. And then, yeah, we have to install Docker. So that's my bad. So I didn't install Docker. <laughs> I thought I thought these go, these are just prepping prepping it for the install. So sorry about that. Let's wait till this thing is done. Boom, that was quick. Okay, so now let's go ahead and, um, sorry, let's go out here and let's install Docker. I apologize, folks. So let's go ahead and let's clear out the screen and let's go ahead and paste this. Let's see how long it takes. It shouldn't take too long. We'll give this a moment. Depending on your like your internet speed, I believe this file was, uh, I didn't see how big it was, because I did the dash Y, so it just went and did its thing. So like I said, this might take a few minutes, but while that's installing, we can go back to the juice shop. So we can actually you know, check out, this is pretty much how it's gonna look in a second. And um, we're gonna test it you know, make sure it's working. We can op open up Burp Suite and all that good stuff. But let's, uh, one step at a time, right, Pat? One step at a time. Okay, so now we have it installed, okay? So now let's go ahead and go back to the Docker container and let's copy this. Let me clear this out. Paste. There we go. Okay, so now that's installed. And now go, let's go ahead and run Docker. So let's go ahead and copy this, paste it. It's gonna install locally. It's gonna do all its fancy pantsy stuff. See if the, all the pull completed, or all the pull completes, sorry. So almost done. Give that a couple of seconds. It's about 146 megs. It's going along. Hurry, let's go. It's almost there. Patience is key, right? All right, so now that's gonna start pulling down the latest and greatest. So let that do its thing. So once that's done, we can go ahead and browse out to the local host and it resides on port 3000, okay? So if you're on a Mac or in a Windows browser, it's 192.168.99.100 and all right, cool. So now it's good to go. See here, it says servers listed on port um, 3000. So let's go ahead and open up this on a new browser. Okay, there we go. We got this installed locally. So what I want to do really quick, I want to actually, let's go to options and I want to configure Foxy Proxy. Um, I'm just going to put Burp here, Burp Suite. Okay, and then I'm gonna do HTTP is fine. And I'm gonna do the local, 127.0.0.1. And port, I wanna do 8080, okay? And once this is all good, we can hit save here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up Burp Suite. Just for, okay, let's open up this bad boy. 
All right, that's fine. Hit OK. I just want to show you that it's it's working. And no, we don't have to do that now. Let's close that. Let's hit next. Start burp. And it's going to mark this. Okay. So if you guys are familiar with burp, you know this is. I'm not going to be going too too crazy deep into it, but we have proxy here. So intercept is on. So technically, what we can do is try to, let's do this really quick. I want to see options. Yeah, it's it's running on port 8080. I just want to make sure my listeners is on port 8080. Okay, so let's go back to Interceptor. And we can go back to Juice Shop. And see, here now we have Burp Suite. It's very light. But if we hit Burp Suite, right, and let me see if I can. If we can do this side by side, sort of, kind of. Uh, let's see. This is really, really big, right? All right. So now let's go ahead and refresh this. And now we can see we have this interception here. See? And now we can see that our burp suite is working. It's working on port 3000. We can see all this good stuff. We can say, OK, I want to forward it. And say, for example, I want to go to, I don't know, uh, company. Let's make this a little bigger. Uh, let's see, for example, uh, do, 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 do. GitHub. See how it's not. Go ahead and forward that. And we can see here that it's, can't, it's really small. But you can see that the, you know, we have cookies. We have, you know, cache control, etc., and you can, you know, see that our Burp Suite and our Juice Shop is working. I want to go ahead and stop this. I'm just going to go ahead and turn off, and then refresh again, and it should work now. Okay, so there you go. This video was pretty much to install Docker and how to install Juice Shop locally in Kali Linux. So hopefully you guys found this informative. If you guys have any questions about the video, feel free to ask me on Instagram, on Twitter, leave a comment below, and I'll get back to it as soon as I can. All right. So have an awesome day, and thank you for watching.